Hi and welcome to this learning module on utilizing Prezi Video with Zoom. Now Prezi Video is a new extension to Prezi that allows you to do your Prezi presentations live in Zoom. It's very cool. And you can check that out by going to Prezi.com. And I already have the pricing pulled up here so you can kind of see what you're looking at. There is a basic account that is for free as well as an education account which does allow you if you can verify your educational status to only pay three dollars a month and then if you're looking at doing bulk pricing you can always purchase that which does require a minimum of 10 seats. Just so you can kind of see the differences here in Prezi video you can record in the basic version the free version only allowed 15 minutes whereas in a paid version you can do unlimited recordings there's a desktop app that is available and you can go live which is the cool part that we're going to be exploring today you also get some other great uh, things through paid versions but that's usually how it always goes All right now that we have that closed let's take a look at the Prezi video now Prezi video here allows you to either import directly from Prezi or you can import a PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and import a PowerPoint and then we can choose a video file. I unfortunately got a little impatient and clicked too many times. There we go. So let's choose a file. grab this Prezi and you can see right now I'm getting this error because something is already utilizing my video let me stop the video feed here now we can see that I have a video feed here for Prezi as well here you can choose between different templates how your imported uh, presentation is going to look I think for our purposes we'll keep it simple and go with this nice little chat bubble one now you can see it is importing the presentation. This will take a little bit of time. This is something you want to have ready ahead of time before you actually launch your Zoom lesson. Just to give you an idea, a 44 slide presentation took about three minutes for it to import and convert. When we're ready, you can either select the individual slides you'd like or you can just import all of them. Once we select that import all, we then have to play again a little bit of a waiting game uh, so it properly loads those in. You can see that they're loaded in now and there we go. So what's great about this is now you can have your slide here just kind of uh, off to the side or if you were to click on it you would be able to expand it to a larger slide so it takes up the screen so you can talk about that. If you click it again it goes back down and then you of course you can use the arrow keys to maneuver through our slides. It's just a fun and unique way for your presentation to, uh, to be seen as well as you can be seen. When you're ready to start video conferencing, select the video conference button there and then it's going to ask you for you to choose your video conference app. Since we use Zoom, we'll click Zoom meetings and then it will show you how to launch it. So what we need to do is have our Zoom opened up and then with Zoom opened up, we can then select a video feed. By doing that, I click the up caret there on the video. And then we can see that I have Prezi Video Virtual Camera ready to go. Once I have that selected, I can start the video. And now we can see our presentation. Now, one of the things to keep in mind on your Zoom screen, because we had it set up in one of our previous settings, was for us to mirror our video. You can change that and then of course it will change it on here. It won't mirror the video so it looks right to you. However, for your students it will look fine either way. Besides, you do have to be operating within the Prezi app itself. So then we can see what it looks like there. Again, just another fun and unique way to actually share your presentations. 
Now, future updates have it rumored that it will utilize some form of augmented reality for you. So you can actually be using your hands to maneuver your slides, either open them or close them. Just a lot of cool features that are coming. This is something definitely to look out for. I also encourage you just using it now as, well, it looks nice. Like, it looks a lot better than the Zoom virtual background. Um, if you remember in a previous video, the Zoom virtual background, you can phase in and out of your slides and, well, overall looks just kind of weird. So something to keep in mind with that. As well as Prezi does increase uh, the engagement, basically. It's more fun to look at, essentially, when you're watching these, as opposed to just going through a screen share and clicking next on slides itself. Uh, just a good way overall to engage with your learners. When you are ready to end your Prezi uh, or your Zoom call, just of course click that end meeting for all, and then that just will stop it for Prezi. If you need help for any reason, you can click the need help button. And when you're ready to exit this, you can either quit or exit out like this. In this case, I wanna save this just because I'll be using this for a later presentation. And that's it for Prezi. If you have any questions and you're watching this in purposes of training at CCLS, please feel free to contact your IT department. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to leave your comments or questions in the comments section below. And hey, as always, thanks for watching.